What's up YouTube family? I've been working on model cars for the last two or three days. If you're subscribed to my channel, chances are you like something to do with cars. If it's a robot turned into one, model cars, or real life-size custom cars. So before I get back to my life-size upholstery work, I wanted to show what I've accomplished here just a little bit and take you to see some of my ideas also so nothing special here I'm working on some chassis one to a 96 or 94 Impala I would have never known if it wasn't for the console and the cup holders and we've got uh, roughly a 90 model Cadillac nothing real nice to show on those yet I do have a model over here I've been working on since had it half finished since I was a kid 20 years ago maybe had the motor and chassis together and I finally got some wheels mounted on it I gave it some 24's it's a 70 model Chevelle with a 454 and then I put a nice squat on the back I think she's sitting pretty nice there those were not the wheels I was going to use for it, but I am using the same size and same brand wheels. I'll take you in here in just a second and show you the idea I have for it. So those wheels will probably go onto the Impala. We'll see. I have a big decision to make on this one, whether I'm going chrome or gold. Now that I'm sitting here shooting this video, I see I have chrome under the hood too. And if I do gold wheels, I'll have to do a painted bumper. I'm not going to leave the chrome. And I thought I was really doing something last night. Late last night, I said, let me finish this trunk I've been dying to finish for the longest. And kind of jumped the gun. I glued these little speakers and amp and left a spot for the T-tops here. <laughs> when I got done gluing everything... I started looking at it and I forgot all about mounting three subs inside the vehicle already. So that's kind of a weird setup now. Probably going to remove these subs and amp and build something different here. So I'm going to use these subs in this car most likely. Yep. Oh well. And I'm having a hard time finding the gold wheels I want for this one. The only ones I'm finding in the Monster 24s from Hoppin' Hydros are these in gold. I do not want another set of those. We'll see here. Anybody knows a good website for model car parts, let me know in the comments, please. I've been buying most of my stuff from eBay. It's usually hit or miss. So I've got an old video game pulled up in here. I will not monetize this video just in case copyrights or anything. And this is, some of you already know the game, it's familiar. It's really too boring to play anymore, but I still use this game for ideas. This is uh, Midnight Club. Here's the idea I had for the Chevelle. I did these cars on this game years back. That's kind of the look I would like to do, minus the stripes. Just want to give it a solid tangerine paint job. Pretty much do away with all the chrome and solid gold wheels. So I may change this car up on the game and get some more ideas. So while I'm here. Let me flip through these cars. I'm on the Xbox 360. And I just uh, recently, this game was backwards compatible and came up for download here recently for Xbox One. So I downloaded it. And when I tried to pull it up on my Xbox One, it could not pull up my saved game. So I thought to myself, oh no, I lost all those cars I spent all that time on. Lo and behold, it, would, it was able to pull up on my 360, so it's some interesting ideas on this game. 
I wish, I wish, I wish that Rockstar would have incorporated more of the customizing into the Grand Theft Auto games. I started playing Grand Theft Auto after this way later than everyone. Primarily for customizing cars and that got old real quick because there's only so much you can do and and then the Benny's garage only had so many good cars to customize, so that got old. Anyways, maybe the next one. I'll put some better customizing in it. There's one of my favorites. You know, I love the Monte Carlos. How about those lines? It's different. Grand, Grand National, I know. SS. Change it up. Let me run through these cars real quick before I run out of my 10 minute clip time. I have 30 cars on here, which is the most you can have. My GTA game has about a hundred and something. There's okay. Stuck at the screen. GTA re recently had an update for the Arena Wars, which was very disappointing to me. I was just thinking over the last month or two of playing that game, man, they should take that stadium and make a area where we could do car shows and add some more customizing to the game. And a few weeks later after that thought, they added the Silly Arena Wars, which is... That seems like it's the whole purpose of the game now. The whole map is Arena Wars. Everybody just kills each other. I'm sick and tired of that game. It'll be a while before I get any video games again. Oh. I remember changing that one. I used to have little wire wheels on it. Kind of odd that way, huh? Still different. Yeah, get on to some good ones. Hold on here. We don't run out of time. I don't want to do a part two here. Some really cool wheels on that one. Anyways, I still use this game for ideas. Ideas for model cars, real life cars. Just to get an idea of color combinations for paint jobs and interior colors. See how they look together. This is the orange Chevelle I already had pulled up. Yep. I have a couple of those though. All the old school cars on this game, I've got doubles or more. Good ones. I remember this one. I like this one a lot. The pearl white with the gold wheels. It's a real nice look. These are just ideas in my brain. Most of them will never see real life. Well, one of the Monte Carlos, when I get mine, it sure will. You'll see it in just a minute. So feel free to take any ideas. Should skip that one. That's a little rider.
Oh, no, it's not. I put big wheels on that one too. What's a low rider at first? <clears throat> Remember this one, Transformer fans, here you go. Yeah. That took me hours making that out of all those shapes, making the Decepticon logo on there. I don't know about hours, but it took some time. Still haven't got to some of my favorites. I do not like Range Rovers, but I did something to this one to where I like them. I would drive one like that. Definitely wouldn't drive one factory. This look like every other SUV out there to me. All the newer vehicles look the same to me. I have no character. There's one, I remember this one too. Uh, this is one of my favorites. 70 Challenger. Got the yellow and black and gold. Now that I look at it, the chrome, well, it's got chrome on the rims. I guess I can get away with the bumpers and blower motor trim. I may have to do a model of this one too. It's a pretty good looking car. I think I would like to have that in model form on my shelf. I start to try to track down a Challenger like